Hey guys, today I am doing my February favorites and least favorites. I am just catching up. I know that I've missed a little bit or I have had a ton of things in each video, but um, I have just been kind of stockpiling them to let you guys know what I've been loving and what I have not been loving. Now, I know in my recent videos I have had... Um, I've said, well, I haven't had things that I haven't liked because I've been researching and, well, that's not the case this month. So I'm going to start with my least favorites. So the first thing on my least favorites is this Fruitique Hydrate Soothing Cream. I wanted this so, so bad um, because it smells like heaven. Um, it's just a cream. You can put it on at night or in the morning and it's a facial cream. It feels like it dries like chalk, if that makes any sense. Um, so when I put it on, it feels all right, kind of thick. When it dries, it dries to almost a powder. Um, so I'm so sad because I really, I waited a long time before I got this and it just, it's on my stinkers list. And it's so sad because it seriously smells like heaven, but don't let the scent fool you ladies and gents because it just, it's awful, awful. Next is this Big Eyes Mascara. The idea of it is awesome. Um, the bottom lash brush was a cute idea, but I didn't see a big difference in this, so that is one of my least favorites this month. Another, and I wanted to love this because it's just like the NARS stick that's like a two or three in one. You can use it as like a cheek, lip, or lid color. Of color for lips. I haven't found um, that it looks good on me and I haven't seen a client that I think this would look good on their lips and it smells um, like paint kind of. So I just didn't really appreciate this. This is a C, so that's a sad one. Next is this Pop Beauty. I was so excited about this. I also got this in my Ipsy bag. I'm excited about this. It's swatched beautifully. It is the Pop Beauty um, lip gloss. Lip gloss in fuchsia. It's the Pop Beauty lip gloss in fuchsia freesia, which, by the way, is really hard to say. Anyways, um, it's swatched beautifully. It has adorable packaging but it seriously has the most foul smell I've ever smelled in my life. I'd be interested to see if the Pop Beauty, um, if the other glosses don't smell like this, maybe there's something in this but it it's awful. It smells terrible. Last thing in my least favorites are these Dead Sea Elements Exfoliating Cleansing Towelettes. Now when I got these, I thought these were such an awesome idea. I do have dry skin, so I do need to exfoliate a lot because I do have dead skin cells and things like that, and that's not cute at all. So I got these. Seriously, this feels like a cheese grater on your face. I'm not kidding you. I promise you, if you want to try one, I will send you one, but I would never put you through that much pain. So, But that's all for my least favorites, and... It was more than I usually have, so it was kind of sad. All right, I'm just going to jump into my favorites, and everyone and their mother has this palette or wants it or has gotten it or has talked about it, so it's no surprise that the Too Faced Chocolate Bar made it into my favorites this month. I mean, it just, seriously, it smells like heaven, honestly. And um, that's all there is to it. There isn't one shade in here that is not pigmented. On smooth. I've worn some without primer some days when I'm running late and the staying power is incredible on them. Next are these two lip glosses that I got my Lorac Gloss set for Christmas. This one is in You Rock and this one is in Rockstar and this one is exclusive to that set by Lorac. So. I love, love, love this one. These are two of my favorites this month. They have been two of my favorites since Christmas, so yeah, it's exciting. Next, and it's not a surprise, is the e.l.f. Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Gel. I never use the lash gel, but the brow gel, seriously, if this ran as much as the Anastasia one, I would still get this one. Like, I pinky swear to you, it is just one of my favorites holy grail like forever and i actually just got um with my sephora points i had a few hundred and i got 
two of the Anastasia Mini, and so now I know. I put it to the test, and seriously, this is just as good, if not better. So there's that. Next is Sunbeam. I have it on today. I feel like it's really, really good for all seasons, honestly. I see a lot of people with highlighters on in the middle of winter, and you're like, girl, you do not have a tan. You did not get that tan naturally, and you look like Edward Cullen. But... This one's just really natural. It's just a little subtle glow to your cheeks. It kind of highlights your good features. Um, and I have been loving this. I did just order High Beam with my Ipsy bag. Um, so I'll be interested to use that one more in the summer because I know that one's on the lighter side. So I love, love, love Sunbeam. Next, this is a Beauty Blender dupe. Um, it's shaped, they call it a gourd shape, but I am in love with this. I do have a beauty blender and this one is just, it's more firm. So I use them for different things. I use the beauty blender for foundation and I use this one to really get my concealer right under my eye, in the crevice of my nose, keep it well under my lip and things like that. So this is just a very precise little guy and so cute. Next, I jumped on this bandwagon, and I might have talked about this already, but the Lash Out Butterfly, holy cannoli. I love this stuff. I've already shown you guys the brush, but if you haven't seen the other videos, it just does look a little like a butterfly wing, and I just, it's amazing. It is. These Love and Beauty Lavender Wipes from Forever 21. Let me just crinkle it all in your ear. Um, I love these. I love the scent of lavender. I feel like it's calming and boosting. So I can use these before bed or in the morning and they really give me the effect that I'm going for. And it's really hard to find that because um, not a lot of things have both of those properties. So I love these. Loving them. Next is the Lorac Pro Rosy Glow. I showed this in my Lorac haul. I... I'm in a hit pan any day, and I just love this stuff. It's a cheek stain, but it's powder, so it's a powder stain. So unlike the um, stick that I showed you guys earlier, the one stick, this one, it has a lot more blending power before it stays all day. So I think that's a really genius idea on Lorac's part. Next is this fragrance spray pen in Ravishing. Oh my gosh, you guys, you will never know. Well, you will know if you get it, but seriously, it, ugh, mm, it just smells so good. Uh, it is refreshing, and it really doesn't, um, you know, what do I want to say? You know, 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 It really has, um, just a scent that is very familiar, but... You just can't put your tongue on it, or your foot on it. Can't put any body parts on it because you don't know. Or I don't know. But if you get this, let me know what you think it reminds you of because it reminds me of something and I love it. Only a few more things in here. Oh, do you guys like that top shot on my head? I got the Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer. This seriously, oh my goodness. It's amazing and it was so affordable. Um, it's by Hard Candy and it it is the best concealer I've ever had in my whole entire life. I seriously feel like you could put this on top of like a crazy breakout or like a really huge blemish or like a birthmark, maybe even a tattoo. Maybe I'll do like a tattoo cover up and see if this covers it up because it is heavy duty and it is not kidding. So I love this and I got this in the shade medium. So I am in love with it. And the last thing is Justin Bieber's girlfriend. Holy cow, I'm just going to smell like a brothel today. But um, I live in Nevada, so it's okay. Um, so this is Justin Bieber's girlfriend. It smells like heaven. And what I really like about this, and if you don't want this giant bulky monster, you can take it out and just set it on your little vanity or wherever. Um, what I really like about it, though, is it it's a very neutral scent to age, if that makes sense. Um, it's not like an old, old lady. It's not like a young, young girl. It's right in between. I'm 25, so I am, you know, right in between. Um, so I love this. It's so fresh. A lot of perfumes do give me headaches, and this is one that does not, and I am in love with it. And, I mean, it's lasted me forever. Love that. All right, what well, you guys, I'm sure, have been waiting for, unless you're one of my, like, friends or family. 
I'm sure what you've been waiting for is the giveaway, which is this makeup bag packed full of some of the things you may have seen here today. Because I tried to put my favorites in here for you guys. So I said at 50 subscribers I would go ahead and give a give, do a giveaway, like I said in the beginning. So let's just jump on to what you're going to get. So the first is the, with no surprise, the e.l.f. Brow and Lash Gel. If you don't use a lash gel, I won't be offended because I don't use a lash gel either. Next is one of your very own little beauty gourds or beauty blenders. This one's in blue, but it's the same one that I have, but I just have the pink one and I love it. Next, you will get the Lorac Cheek Stain in the same shade that I do have. It is the Rosy Glow shade and I am in love with it. Next, you will get... And this is why I said, when you get it, let me know what you think it smells like. So you will get the Ravishing and you will also get the Adorable. Um, and so, and when you open these, be careful because plastic wrap on mine when I opened it sliced my finger open. So be careful, please. So you will get both of those. You will get both of my favorite glosses. So this is the U Rock and the Rock Star. So that's so exciting. I hope you guys love these. And then you will get, I'm trying to do a balancing act here. You will get, I got this at Sephora, but I thought it would be fun for you guys to try. Um, so it does have the sunbeam in here, which I'm in love with. Can you see it? No, yes, kind of. So it has a sunbeam in here, it has a sugar bomb in here, and it has a bad gal lash, which I'm a little jealous because I didn't try it, but I figured it'd be a fun little trio for you guys to try because I have plenty of mascaras open and I don't need to open another one right now. And then, oh, I forgot to add this to my favorites. No, no. Um, this is the Lorac Pro Mascara. I meant to add it to my favorites this month, but I must have forgotten on my vanity. But you guys will get this. This is new. You will also get a pack of the Lavender Facial Wipes, which are amazing, amazing. And the last thing you will get is this Justin Bieber's girlfriend. I just figured you guys would like this or like to try it, so I'm just excited for this giveaway. I haven't done a giveaway yet. Um, my dog won't stop barking. Be quiet! But I thought you guys would like this giveaway. Elliot, shut up! He's being rude. I thought you guys would like this giveaway. I just wanted you to know I really do appreciate you. I'm so excited to get to 50 subscribers and it's only up from here. So the rules for this giveaway are to thumbs up this video. Please be a subscriber to me. Um, I will go ahead and check that when I do pick the winner. The winner will be picked through random.org. What I have to do is thumbs up this video, subscribe to me, and comment down below and tell me what your favorite scent is. So that'll be exciting. I am looking into getting some new perfumes and things like that. Um, or it doesn't even have to be a perfume. It can be something else because my favorite scent is rain. So I have done enough babbling for today, I believe. So I'm going to package your little thing up. This will go for two weeks from tomorrow. And just so you guys know, this will run until the 15th. I said two weeks from Saturday, but I didn't give you a date. So two weeks from Saturday, I will upload a video and tell you who won. And we'll go from there. Thank you so much, and I hope to talk to you guys soon. Bye!